outro cast. I have so much to ask all three of you, and we're first going to throw it to Carson. Um, your first acting role, according to IMDb, was a Justin Timberlake video. Is that true? Yeah, that, um, I don't think that was my first one, but that was one of them. Um, that was super fun. I, that was like a super cool experience. Whatever for me. happened to him? I don't know. <laughs> no. He just sort of disappeared. Too bad. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, too bad. He was pretty talented. Yeah, but um, yeah, it was like super fun to be, um, to do that. And I feel like um, as an actress, it's cool to be um, parts of, all different aspects of the yeah. industry and music videos and like commercials right. and guest stars and yeah you build your way up so That's i right. feel like that definitely was um an important part of my past i don't <laughs> think that was the first one i did though i think that was uh a different show i remember seeing you in dollface so yes. <laughs> you have been around for quite a while you have more acting credits in your years than most people are ever gonna have so congratulations <laughs> uh sarah I'm dialing in from Long Island. Are you proud oh, or is Long that- Long Island. <laughs> <laughs> when did you get to leave Long Island? Get to, get leave. to leave. Get to I leave. Like, did you escape? Wait, wait, where, where in Long Island are you from? Long Beach, the opposite end from Stony Brook. Got it, yes, I grew up in Stony Brook. Um, I lived there from the age of six until my first summer after college. And then my- folks moved to um to new york city so but yeah like all high school middle school most of elementary school all on long island <laughs> yeah that's what we sound like each and every one of us that's what we sound like to the whole world um and your credits you besides you know killing it as an actress great singer and was the plan all along to be a singer and acting was the side thing or what was the order on that? No, I mean, I, I always grew up singing. I was doing musicals forever growing up and I sang in college. And then the, really the thing that shifted gears for me was doing a musical theater program in New York in the middle of college and realizing, I don't think I'm cut out for this. This I'm much, mm. I'm better and more connected to and more drawn to straight acting. So um, so that's kind of where I put my focus, but I, I still do love to sing now and again, but it's just for fun. Bonnie, yes, long time Bonnie. fan. Uh, <laughs> as a standup is how I first learned about you. And one thing that intrigues me to no end is how how many stand-up comics who are excellent like yourself are now the showrunners, the show creators, et cetera? Was that the goal from the beginning to be running your own life in that way? Um, you know, I never thought of myself as a stand-up. I always thought of myself as a storyteller and, uh, you know, stand-ups are, work so hard and I was lucky to work at Second City where I was part of an ensemble where we were improvising doing eight shows a week. <laughs> and during the day, you know, I was an oncology nurse. Uh, Northwestern. Wow. I had two lives going at a time. Um, but one gift, one of the most precious gifts in my life was, you know, my oncology patients gave me perspective. And it was kind of, you know, don't fear failure, follow your dreams, um, live life in the moment. So I, when I came to California, after I made a deal with a patient, we shook hands on it. Um, I, I just knew I wanted to be a storyteller and I wanted to follow my stories all the way through. So for me, and I was the first person to do it, you know, I had to go to all the unions and get approval. It was 1993. I was the first person to write, star and executive produce their own series. Mm -hmm. And it was a, it was an uphill battle, um, but I made it happen. And then it became the norm, you know, and I'm, I'm really proud of that. Uh, uh, and I love, I love writing. I love storytelling and I know how powerful it can be for people at home that, for a moment can forget their cares or woes and relate to something or laugh. Yeah, and hey, loved your talk show as well. You helped spotlight so many comics on that. People like Jeffrey Ross who weren't necessarily getting the look at the time right. from yep. the other shows. Yep, so, we had a lot of firsts on our talk show. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm proud of that too, all the careers that were that stemmed from that, that show. Well, Carson, throwing it back to you here. Do you remember the first time you saw Bonnie on anything, did they go, hey, check this out? And you saw her? The first actually the, Vogue. the first, Vogue, right? <laughs> <laughs> the first time I saw her was actually um from my own discovering. I was watching Beethoven. Oh <laughs> um, wow. Um that one was really I watched that when I was a little bit younger. 
um, maybe like I was like nine or 10. Um, and I watched it with my mom and um, that was like really cute. I know that was like one of the first projects. It was, it so was, yes. That was definitely really cute. And then um, a year later, here I am, Amber Brown. Right. So. <laughs> yeah, I was pretty lucky the day we crossed paths because Carson really brought Amber to life for me in a way that I could imagine but not i mean and even much bigger than that so well you you've seen her do it oh it's like, amazing <laughs> that's so sweet that's so of true. course and, and, and kind and all those and good funny. things yeah all the and funny i all mean you'll never things. be as pretty as i am <laughs> but i was mostly hired for my looks you got talent <laughs> oh thank you You're welcome and my final question before I all let you go and get asked the same five questions by other writers. Um, so, Sarah, uh, what is the best show on Apple TV besides this one? Wow. Ted Lasso. <laughs> 100%. And I feel like we the whole time we were making this show, we were like, this is like another Ted Lasso. And it's for a younger demographic demographic, but also to watch with their families, but because both of these shows are motivated by putting kindness and love out into the world and finding a way for people to understand and empathize and um, build one another up. So yeah. I love that show. It makes you feel so good. And so does yeah. this show. Yeah, there's um, another show that has the same message. Um, for some reason, I'm blanking what it's called. Me and my mom watched it together. It's about like, every episode is a new like love story it's not just like romantic but it's That's also like boat. yeah That's moms and dads oh, and yeah. sisters and brothers oh, um, i think it's called like modern I love or something I, I really like that too it's the same message you yeah. know family love friendship mm -hmm. and it's really creative i like it a lot so that's definitely a good message to have yeah, in the show it's absolutely it's been a pleasure speaking with all three of you. Looking forward to whatever's next. Congratulations on getting a Thanks. wonderful show out into the world like this. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.